Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, a lot of you probably have noticed I've stopped doing reaction videos on my channel and there are several reasons why that is. And we're just gonna dive into the reasons. I'm also gonna tell you how much my most viewed reaction video has generated income. So yeah, let's get to it. So it's been almost a year since I released my first reaction video. I had been planning for that for quite a while and I was, I was a bit scared of taking the step to do that. I think it was April, end of April or something when I released my first reaction video. That also is my most viewed video on this channel at the moment and it has over 2 million views. I don't even know how much, but over 2 million views at this point, at least. We'll, we'll get to that part at the end of the video. So stay, stay watching and you'll see. I am quite glad I did the reaction videos when I did them. It's easier content than producing music or, or anything like that. So I kind of got sucked into that and it was a good thing and it was a bad thing. Let me give you some pros and cons of the reactions, reaction videos I've made. So yeah, one of the good things was that they got a lot of views. A lot of you have found my channel to, because of the reaction videos and a lot of you have stayed because of the music and that's awesome. I really love that, that my music is finally getting some attention. Music is now what I do to be able to study, basically. That's that's how it works for me at the moment. So I'm very grateful for having you people here because of the reaction videos. And that's one of the biggest good things that there can be, really. However, there are some downsides to the reactions also. I'm a very number-driven person. Um, I love numbers, I love statistics, I love looking into those statistics. I get obsessed by the statistics very easily and when you see kind of like constant huge growth happening, it's, it's so rewarding. But then when I release a music release that I've been working on so, so much and the numbers are like maybe 5% of what my poorest reaction videos have. It's a bit kind of sad feeling, but then also there's a lot of unsubs on my music releases usually. That's something I, I know it happens because a lot of people have subscribed to my channel because of the reactions only. They don't care about my music. And they are like, okay, this person is doing music. She's not doing reactions anymore. Let's just unsub. We are not interested in this. And that's understandable, but that is also making me feel sad, almost. However, there's a lot of you who still love those music releases. And thank you for that. I really appreciate all the awesome comments on my music releases, really. They, they keep me going, you know. Another thing that it kind of affects, I, I don't know too much about this, but I just heard one creator talk about like your content messing up with the algorithm. If it's something you're not creating content about nowadays, it might still mess up the algorithm on in future. Like I have old reaction videos there and I haven't done those for quite a while on my channel, but that's still the most viewed videos I, I I have, even though I removed a lot of them. So it, it is probably affecting the algorithm a bit, at least. It's trying to push my reactions and because people like those reactions, um, it's just not pushing my music content because my music content is not what people care about. Like the, like, you know, people care about it, of course, but they, like not in that extent, if it makes any sense. So if you didn't know, I have created another channel for my reaction videos. It is, the link is up here somewhere. 
for you to click. It's just been re-uploads at this point, but while I'm recording this, I'm also planning to record a new couple of new reactions also. So go subscribe to it if you want to see those and go set the notifications on and you, you know how it works. At this moment, I have 820 subscribers and the channel has already gotten uh, over 60,000 views during this time when it has existed, which is, I think, less than three months. It is getting a lot of views. And meanwhile that happens, my main channel views are going down because the reaction views are going to the reaction channels, which is what I really hoped to begin with. So it, it's going as it should be, really. So while people view my reaction channel content, they are like, okay, this person is whatever. Um, I'm interested in checking out her music and they come to my channel, to my artist channel, to this channel, and they are like, okay, I like this. I'm gonna subscribe to it also. So I think I have kind of like a filter. The reaction channel will be a filter of those people who are just interested in reactions. And those who are actually interested in my music, they will come to my music channel and click the subscribe. So it's, it's subscriptions that are coming from where they should be, really, if that makes any sense. That's why I created the other channel. And I do like reactions. I do like making them. I do like checking out some new music I haven't checked out before and checking out flute playing on different genres than, than just classical music. I love that. I just think it's not for this channel, really. That's why I created the reaction channel, so go, go check it out and subscribe to it if you are interested in the reaction content. So let's get to the interesting part. How much revenue did my, did my most viewed video generate? Let's get to that. So this is my most viewed video. It's 2.3 million views, which is a lot. This completely went viral. So <laughs> the truth is it has made three cents. 1.2 US dollars is one euro. This was my first reaction video. I released it on April 21st <laughs> last year. There's a copyright claim at this point. Um, actually, there was a copyright claim before that, which caused it not to be able to be monetized. But I think I disputed it around August and they just said like we are not accepting this dispute we're still holding the copyright claim it's not fair use which it is yeah that's what happened it's generated to me <laughs> almost half of my subscribers really it's still getting a lot of views for reference this is almost half of my channel views during the last two days. Let's go to the monetization. It's right behind me here, like behind the camera. And there it is. Your video is ineligible for monetization due to a copyright claim. Review details and dispute the claim if you believe that this is an error. You are seeing ads on this video, but I'm, I'm not seeing anything of it. It's just directly going to the copyright holders. So this is how it mostly is for YouTube reactions. Unfortunately, that's that's why I'm not doing them that much at the moment. I will be doing them in the future. It's not going to be my main thing because of that. So that's that's the truth behind the reactions. And that's why I stopped doing them on this channel, why I created another channel for them. Um, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> and yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.